video from Femme Fatale Airsoft. Today I'm at Bespoke Airsoft to bring you a series of weapon reviews and today we're looking at the WE M&P Big Bird Pistol. So, this is a copy of the Smith & Wesson Pro Series Core and that stands for Competition Optics Ready Equipment. So looking at the pistol, it has a polymer frame and a vented metal slide. It does come in a variety of colours. The one I normally run does have a silver slide, um, but you can get it in the black and it also comes in black and tan. What I really like about this is it comes with three adjustable um, back straps out of the pack and it comes pink. So obviously that's great for me. Looking at the pistol as well, it's got the fibre optic iron sights, which are great. Um, so let's talk about the specs as well. The FPS is around about 250 feet per second with a 40 meter range. Um, the mag capacity, 26, um, it's pretty standard and it is a semi-auto blowback. It has an adjustable hop-up, which is always really good. Um, it's a gas pistol as well. I normally use the Nupol 3.0, which is sort of the standard gas I use. In the summer I do use the 2.0 as well, the green gas. And the barrel length as well is 127 millimetres. So let's talk about the pros and cons. Um, the cons of this pistol I found, I've ran this for a year. I've had pretty much no issues, um, but there is one thing I would change about it. The fibre optic sights are shot out quite easily. Mine's missing two. Um, I don't know if that's just me being clumsy. <laughs> um, pros, I would say, it comes with pink grips out of the box. To me, that's a massive pro. Anyone who likes a bit of colour, I would like to see them in different colours, because at the minute you only get the black and the pink ones in the pack. Um, it's ready to use out of the box. There's not really any fuss. I've not had to change my hop up, pulled it out of the box, started shooting with it. Um, good times. It is a point and shoot pistol as well. So I think if you point this at something, you know you're going to hit it. You've not really got to worry about that. Um, and the other thing is, it's never let me down. I've had a few pistols, but this is by far my favourite. I've never pulled it out and heard Dead Man's Click, which is brilliant. Um, yeah, it's really good. Oh, the stippling's really nice as well. And I do like the markings on the top. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, comments are always appreciated. And subscribe if you want to see more weapon reviews like this. Um, I'll leave the links to my social media below. We'll see you next time.